Welcome to the World Today on Channel's television. Yesterday, we told you about the blast in Abuja. It killed 21 people and injured 17 others. We have an update today as the federal government once again reiterated its commitment to curbing terrorism in the country. Vice President Namadi Samba was at the scene of the blast earlier today. Uh, he spoke to reporters much afterwards where he said that uh, he, he spoke uh, to urged the sympathizers uh, be comforted uh, on what has happened, but he urged Nigerians to be vigilant and report suspicious activities to security agents. He was also at the Metama General Hospital to sympathize with the victims of the blast in company of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Ayim Payos Ayim, as well as the National Security Advisor to the President, retired Colonel Sambo Dansuki, and uh, some other government officials. Yeah. use this opportunity to extend our sincere and deep condolences to the family to, of those that have lost their lives and our sympathy to those that are injured. Both here, the incidents in Kanu, and all other parts of Nigeria. This cowardly, unjust act will be defeated. Evil can never be sustained. Inshallah, this administration and Mr. President is not going to leave any stone and turn until we defeat this terrorist. Terrorism cannot survive in Nigeria or in any part of this world. We are doing everything, we are putting everything to ensure that within the shortest possible time, this will become a matter of the past. I want to assure all Nigerians, the government is doing everything to ensure safety of our lives and properties of all Nigerians and our visitors. I want to seize the opportunity to call all on Nigerians also <coughs> to be very vigilant, to be very vigilant and be very observant. I report any suspicious act that they see. I uh, will also ask us to go back to our normal duties, our normal services, and to cooperate with the administration so that we will all jointly succeed in solving this problem.